Okay, 6.4, um, our notes are just talking about finding and correcting errors in our worksheet or just in our accounting records in general. And then in MindTap, we're actually gonna end up journalizing and posting those adjusting entries that we did back in 6.2. So this is just information more for you. Um, so anytime there are errors, we have to correct them. Typically, the difference is going to be in increments of like one or 10. So a cent off, 10 cents off, a dollar off, $10 off. Um, if that is the error, most likely it's normally just an addition error. So a fat finger, you hit the wrong button. If the difference can easily be divided by two, then sometimes we need to look for that other half. So maybe it's $100 and we actually made an error of 50 because it was divided by two. If the error can be divided by nine, then that's called a slide or a transpose error, meaning that you just flipped numbers around. So instead of doing 45, you accidentally inputted 54 or vice versa. And sometimes if we're off big time, maybe it's because we forgot to record an amount uh, on the debit side or the credit side. So read through, checking for errors in the worksheet, steps for correcting, and then steps for correcting in the journal entry. So please read through that. You'll see some of those questions on your test and your study guide. But now we're going to go to MindTap and journalize those adjusting entries. So 6.4 work together. We have our completed worksheet that we just completed in 6.3. We are going to now journalize and post these supplies and prepaid insurance adjustments. So April 30th, fix it now. And our account title up here says adjusting entries, which indicates that's what these entries are coming from. So April 30th is our date. Our first account that we are going to adjust is going to be supplies. Supplies got a credit. So therefore our supplies expense account is actually going to be listed first as our debit. We don't have a source document because we are taking this right from our worksheet. So we're gonna skip over our source document and go right to our debit, which is 153. The credit is the supplies account. So if I go back up here, supplies got the credit. It also doesn't have a source document, so 153. All right, our other adjustment was prepaid insurance. So it got $125 credit and insurance expense got $125 debit. Insurance expense is going to be listed first because it is our debit. No source document again, because it's coming right from our worksheet. And then prepaid insurance was our credit of 125. 125 credit, 125 debit. All right, so that's step one, just the journalizing. Step two, we are going to now post those four entries to the correct account. So there's our entries, supplies expenses up first. I'm gonna go down to my expense accounts, supplies expense, I'm gonna put in my date, April 30th. My post ref, remember, is coming from whatever journal page. So I'm on page eight. It was a debit of 153, which is gonna update my debit balance to 153. Last thing I gotta do is take my account number, 550, and plug it in to my post ref. Next is supplies with a credit of 153. Now remember supplies is normally a debit balance. Post ref is page eight. It's getting a credit of $153. Supplies has a debit balance. I'm gonna have to subtract these two. So 228 minus 153 is gonna give me a $75 balance in supplies. Last, I take my account number 140 and plug it in. 
Okay, insurance expense is up next with a $125 debit. It is April 30th. Post ref is journal page eight, $125 debit. Expense accounts have a normal debit balance. Last I have thing I have to do is take my account number 530 and plug it in. All right, prepaid insurance, $125 credit. Just like supplies, this is gonna change our balance. So it is the 30th, post ref is journal page eight. It's getting $125 credit. Prepaid insurance has a normal debit balance. So I'm going to subtract 125 from 375, which updates my prepaid insurance balance to 250. All I have to do now is take my account number 150 and plug it in. All right, so that is just posting and journalizing the adjusting entries that we made back in 6.2. Make sure you do that on your own and terms if they are, if they're there.